Hello everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Francesco and what we do in these videos is break down productivity tips, tools and techniques to help you move forward with your productivity. Oh, this you crazy mother. So today I am actually going to be reviewing something a little different. Although this episode is going to be called called Trello Hacks 3, I think it's important when looking at Trello to look at some alternatives. And what I found here today is Tiago. And Tiago is a tool that is very similar to Trello, following the very simplistic Kanban design. Tiago is an open source project that allows others to contribute to the project's development and essentially allow anyone to put some code towards this. So this is something that has acquired around about 100,000 users in the last year. And it's been around for around about a year and a quarter. So it got launched in October 2014. And it's something that has, you know, 100,000 news is quite an impressive amount for that period of time. You know, bear in mind Trello's got 12 million, but 100,000 not too bad for a very focused open source. So it's only available through Linux devices. Um, I'm running it on a web at the moment. Um, and what I'm really most impressed by is how well they've done at the product. Um, but just to give you an idea, you know, Trello is in the top 10 uh, project planning applications. And this is actually in the top 100, kind of reaching in the 62 uh, mark, which is very, very impressive. So let's get stuck in focusing in on the features of this tool and actually get started on how it's a bit variant and a bit different from Trello. So as you can see, this is how you are introduced to uh, Tiago, Tiago, sorry. Um, so you get to choose from the start off with uh, on the start when you whether you want to choose uh, Kanban or Scrum in your setup. And I know what Kanban is. I'm not too uh, clued up on Scrum quite yet. But Kanban essentially is a system that was used by a Japanese company a very long time ago. Uh, I believe it might have been uh, Honda or Toyota. And essentially what they did is they mapped out anything that would go through processes. So, for example, a task started here and ended over here. So it went from being new or, um, you know, in that process of starting to the completion and actually being able to map that out in boards. And that's very similar to what people are using with Trello. They do this similar technique to go through those steps and processes to complete a task. So what this uh, Tianga does is allow you to do that uh, viewing on Kanban boards and essentially up here you can add a new user story um, and each of them have assigned specific um, so if I were to click in here I just click the plus button you get to add the subject which is the task name essentially you can assign the details of points associated with each one so let's for example this is a uh, redesign the home screen of an app Maybe, you know, that takes a lot of UX uh, abilities. It takes a lot of, uh, you know, 15 points worth of design um, and then 1% of the front end and 2% of the back end. Um, so this is essentially assigning points to how heavy you want the task to be prioritized. So, for example, if you're using this with a team and this is a very team focused application, you could upload uh, tasks and then assign points to them. And then each of the team members can kind of fight for these points as they uh, you know, get into uh, being able to use this. Here you can set the, the progression of the project. So where is it in its stages? Down here you can associate um, tagging system, I believe. So um, I'm just going to write test. And then you can add anything descriptive. Down here you can also uh, block it, uh, see if it needs team and requirements, uh, so people actually contributing to it, and client requirements. At the moment, I'm just going to blank that out. So up here, once you've got this one, you can directly assign it to someone. It's just me at the moment, um, so I'm going to do that. So I'm just going to drag this, and as you can see, it goes into each of the um, sections. And what I kind of like about this is it's very uniform. I think Trello does need to focus on being a bit more uniform in the way that the content lines up with each other. So this is very rigid. Trello is too flexible sometimes because it can make cards look more priority than others um, in the way that it's structured. So if you've got loads of text in one, it looks more important than the other. 
when maybe it might not be. And actually the point system is quite valuable because you can definitely see here that 23 points does make it more appealing than the eight points. So as you can see, dragging across the sections are quite valuable. You can also bulk insert um, certain things. So if you had a long list from another uh, Evernote list or Todoist list, you can import that there and actually get all of those tasks down before actually having to go through that laborious process. And as you can see, you can go all the way through here and uh, dump them there. So as you can imagine, with lots of teams being on this, you can actually watch and view all of the timeline and the activities inside of this, which is quite valuable. You can also go into team and see how much power people have got. So over here, um, I haven't really worked out what that is, but locane doses in ingested. I believe it's like some sort of like power up point. Um, but anyway, this is one. Uh, so if you've completed certain tasks, uh, you get a certain rating and also it goes towards your total points or total power. Um, and then you can break it down in UX and all of these different ones here. So that's quite valuable because I guess you could really um, reward your team for like being able to input and all this stuff. It's quite awesome, actually. Um, over in the settings, there's lots of permissions, integrations, plugins, um, and you can have GitHub in uh, so you can have GitHub uh, login, which is quite cool. So those kind of guys that are doing that um, can have that kind of uh, abilities. So as you can imagine, it is super, super um, techy. Um, so I think that you know more design teams and more um, product uh, and even you know app teams, of course, app development teams would really, really appreciate this. Um, and it'd be nice actually to um, be able to get into more detail on this, but essentially that's how everything kicks off. So I can go down to modules in project and I can see all of the uh, access points that I can get. So I can get a backlog, uh, which would give me access to user stories in a different view. Uh, it can actually track bugs and questions so that you never miss them. Wiki as well, which is quite valuable. Again, very techy and also meetup. So there's some nice little plugins there that you can attach um, to uh, the Tiaga dashboard dashboard. So another useful thing is search what you're looking for. You know, I could put Trello hacks and then what would come up drum roll, all of the activities and user stories, tasks and wiki pages based on that. So this is a very simplistic service, obviously not very cross cross platform focused, but something that I see uh, big, Maybe teams between five and 10 that want to gamify and, and bring their kind of experience to a new level without using the simple Trello experience. So anyway, guys, I just want to expose you to that open source network. I'm trying to find more third party applications to review and kind of get you guys in that kind of mindset. So thank you very much for watching. Make sure to have a great week. Uh, feel free to comment. I really love commenting and subscribing. I absolutely adore. So thank you very much. Make sure you have a great week. Keep productive and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.